bring you greetings from the most worshipful National Grand Lodge, free and accepted ancient York Rite Masons, Prince Hall Origin, National Compact USA, where I am the National Grand Master Tyrone J. Montgomery. This past Saturday, September the 19th, there was a historic event that took place in California. Myself, the National Grand Master, and several John G. Jones AFNAM Grand Lodges did an amity treaty. First, let's understand amity. It means friendship and treaty means agreement. So this was a friendship agreement and I will read the actual agreement to you. The most worshipful National Grand Lodge, free and accepted ancient York Rite Masons and John G. Jones, ancient free and accepted Grand Lodges. The free and accepted ancient York Rite Masons date back to 1847 Boston, Massachusetts, under the leadership of John T. Hilton. The Grand Lodges of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons has its origin in the year 1896 under the leadership of John G. Jones. Now recognize one another as legitimate Grand Lodges of the Freemasons founded on brotherly love, relief, and truth. Our jurisdictions composed of legitimate Grand Lodges within the United States of America and its territories. We agree that Freemasonry was founded on principles of brotherly love, relief, truth, and that lodges are governing by the Grand Lodge. Each of our members must maintain membership and good standing in their Masonic lodges. All membership shall be in accordance with the Constitution and bylaws of each jurisdiction. We agree to pledge ourselves to unity and respect to our fellow brother Masons under our obligation. We agree that this Masonic treaty binds us under the brotherhood of friendship and the fatherhood of God as legitimate Grand Lodges with all rights, privileges, and visitation as a legitimate Mason, whereas our members may benefit. We pledge ourselves to support free and accepted ancient Eurite Masons and John G. Jones Grand Lodge ancient free and accepted Masons. In token thereof, we affix our signatures as Grand Masters, National Grand Master, myself, Grand Lodge officers and representatives. So in essence, this meeting that took place was historic. Many AF and AM Grand Lodges joined with ourselves, and there were other affiliations there as well to bond under the actual banner of masonry, brotherhood, love and relief, and throwing aside many of the other negative things that exist in the Masonic community. This is historic because we need to come together as black Masons. We need to bind together. We need to recognize each other, and that is exactly what this treaty does. And we need to treat each other as brothers. Again, I want to thank Tony Hawkins for inviting me to be part of this committee. He's part of the John G. Jones group, and we appreciate his interest in bringing us into this. May you have a blessed day.